Here he comes, here comes Speed Racer. He's a demon on wheels. He's a demon and he's gonna be chasing after someone. He's gaining on you, so you better look alive. He's busy revving up the powerful Mach 5. And when the odds are against him and there's dangerous work to do, he takes your life's eraser to see it through. Go Speed Racer, go Speed Racer, go Speed Racer, go! He's often flying as he guns a car around the track. He's jamming down the pedal like he's never coming back. Adventure's waiting just ahead. Go Speed Racer, go Speed Racer, go Speed Racer, go! Four seconds, average speed 180. Then you engine's making the Mach 5 a lot faster. It sure is, and so now Speed's got a good chance of winning the race at Danger Pass. It went more than 220 miles an hour. I wonder where the car came from. The man who's behind that wheel's a reckless driver. He almost caused me to crash. And if that car is entered in a race, you'll have to be extra careful, Speed. You're right. I think that car means bad luck. I hope it's not for me. and Mr. Herring of the Racing Car Association are called to police headquarters to help investigate the mysterious accident. The accident must have been caused by the strange car I saw at the track. The driver was reckless and dangerous. But Speed, Mr. Herring here of the Racing Car Association claims that he's neither seen nor heard of such a car. It makes this case even more puzzling. It's important, Inspector, that you catch that wild driver immediately before he causes even worse accidents. I agree with you, Mr. Herring, and we're doing the best we can. In fact, we already have a clue. You have? What is it, eh? It was found at the scene of the accident. Here it is, Mr. Herring. Take a good look and tell me what you make of it. Why, it seems to be only a card. Do the letters mean anything to you, Mr. Herring? Uh, let me see. Uh, no, sir. I'm sorry. I can't tell you a thing. That's too bad. I was hoping you'd give us some information about it. However, rest assured, we'll conduct a thorough investigation and bring that driver to justice. I'm sure you will, Inspector. Now I have something important to take care of immediately. Excuse me. See you later. Oh, mm -hmm. Red, how are you? What do you want? What do you mean the accident was caused by Bangla's car? I know you told me not to go out at night, but I got to once in a while. After all, I'm the president of Ocean Industries, and I got a lot of business, even at night. Unfortunately, tonight is one of the nights I got to go out, so I'm going.
police investigation squad has set up a special team to catch the mysterious sports car that roars away from the scene of accidents, leaving a card which says X3. Oh. Sorry I kept you waiting, but I was making a picnic lunch for us. Isn't it the most beautiful day for a drive in the country? Mm-hmm. I wonder why that mysterious driver is going after all the racing officials. Oh, Speed, may I have the key to the car trunk? And I wonder just what X3 means. What does it stand for? We start in five seconds. All drivers get behind their wheel. <clears throat> Didn't take me long when you told me that, did it, Trixie? Oh, Speed. Don't drive away yet. I've got to ask you to do the police department a favor. We need you to help us in the investigation of that mysterious sports car that's been causing all the accidents. As you know, that car is amazingly fast, and frankly, with our slow cars, we can't catch up to it. I'm sorry, Inspector, but Speed already has a very important appointment today. We can go for our drive in the country next week, Trixie, okay? Will you help us? Of course, Inspector. A fine police department we have when they have to ask for your help on the day we were going on a picnic. Now, you know, Trixie, it's our duty to help. We'll go on the picnic next week instead. Hmm. I spent all last night making a special lunch. What's going to happen to that? Don't worry, I'll eat it. Hi, Jim Chim and I are ready to investigate the case, Inspector. Do you see what he's carrying? It looks to me like some kind of tape recorder. Well, if you look closely, that's what it is. But doesn't it look more like a camera? It's not a camera, it's a tape recorder? That's what I've been saying. It's a tape recorder built like a camera to fool spies, and I'll use it to fool them. But if there are no spies in this case, what are you going to tape record? Hmm. Then maybe I'll just record Jim Jim. <laughs> <laughs> the mysterious sports car has just been spotted. It's traveling south on Highway 5 at 180 miles an hour. Our police cars are unable to catch up to it. I'll go. Thank you, Speed. Are you going to take me? I can't. It's too dangerous, Trixie. Get out. Hurry. Oh. Oh. Now, what happened to Spridal? I wonder where he could be. Pardon me, miss, but did you see a black sports car pass by outside your shop? No, I'm sorry, but I didn't see anything. That's peculiar, miss. I wonder what happened to the car. According to the girl in the shop, the car didn't pass by here. I'm sorry, Inspector Detective, but I've let you down. I let that car get away from me. It's all right, Speed. I've ordered roadblocks, so pretty soon someone should report seeing it again. Speed calling Speed Razor in the Mark 5. That's Trixie calling. Speed! This is the Mach 5. Come in, Trixie. The mysterious car just passed the intersection, three blocks north of your present location. Huh? Thanks for spotting him. I've got to help, because if you don't catch it, we won't go on our picnic next week either. All right, here goes.
It's a robot. This means the black sports car was being operated by remote control. It's too bad, Inspector, that the sports car was able to get away from me. You did a good job anyway, Speed, in bringing back this robot. By analyzing the mechanisms, we'll be able to learn something about whoever made it. Oh, I almost forgot. The robot said something. What? The train made so much noise as it was going by that I wasn't able to make it out. Oh. I just recorded what it said. Aha. Uh -huh. I got it all. I recorded the whole thing. You were hiding in the Mark V again. Right. Oh, Bridal. You shouldn't have been in there. You might have been hurt. Well, I got a tape recording. Then give the tape recording to the inspector so he can hear it. Uh-uh. Not so fast. Will you give us some cake if we let you listen to it? You'll get cake later, Spritel. Let me listen to that recording right now. When later? Ah! Uh -uh. As soon as this case is solved, I'll buy you a seven-layer chocolate cake. <gasps> Here. <laughs> <laughs> Melange is the name of a horse that was famous. What? A horse? Yes, Inspector. I read all about Melange when I was studying French history. I remember that Napoleon had a horse by that name. It was a great horse, and once it saved Napoleon's life. Well, that's very interesting, Speed, but what's the connection? What's Napoleon's horse got to do with this case? Maybe I can tell you. I know another story about Melange. Pops! Mr. Racer, I'd like to hear it. Will you go ahead and tell it to me, please? I remember that about 15 years ago, another race was held at Danger Pass. Danger Pass is one of the most dangerous race courses in the world. The two men, Mr. Black and Mr. Green, who were crashed into recently by the mysterious black car, were coaching a team that was expected to win. But they were worried they might be beaten by a young racer named Flash Marker, driving a car he called Melange. There were 50 cars in the race, and for the first half, it looked as if it could be won by anybody. But then Flash Marker started passing all the other cars at the entrance to Danger Pass. Just as he got to the top, another car cut in front of him, and to avoid smashing into it, he fell into the valley below. Quite a story, Pops. I never heard it before. Inspector, don't you think it must have something to do with the case we're working on? There seems to be a connection, all right. There does indeed. Pops, in that race at Danger Pass years ago, do you remember if that car cut in front of the melange on purpose, or was it accidental? No one ever found out for sure, and it's happened so long ago that almost everybody's forgotten about it. Well, let me try to remember. The melange was wrecked by a car owned by the Three Roses Club. The Three Roses Club? That's mm. right. That's who owned the car. Pops, did Mr. Flash Marker leave any family behind? Well, I seem to remember that he had two children. Children? Hmm. Here we are. This is where Flash Marker's children live. Oh, hello, Miss Marker. We've met before. Well, Speed, I didn't know that you two knew each other. Would you like to buy some flowers? No, thank you, Miss Marker. My name is Speed Racer, and this is Inspector Detector of the Police. <gasps> and, uh, my name is Trixie. I'm very glad to know you, Miss Marker. You're called Lily, and your brother's Flash Marker Jr. Is he at home? Yes, he is, Inspector, but my brother Flash is sick in bed. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but I'd like to speak to him just for a moment, if I may. All right. Come. been well, and he's been in bed like this for more than three weeks, Inspector. Ah, then he stayed home here all day today, right? Yes, sir. Well, Flash, we're here to investigate about a black sports car that has caused some bad accidents here in the city. Do you know anything about it? Well, I'm glad to hear that. Cops weren't able to find out anything, thanks to you, Lily. Oh, Flash, you told me to lie, and I did to save you. But I can't lie ever again. I won't. So please, you've got to stop driving that car. They've caught the robot, so I can't drive that sports car again. But I've been planning something for years. Let me show you. Come inside. 
You didn't know I had built this secret factory under our house, did you, Lily? No, Flash. I had no idea you had all this down here. The police know that car now, and they'd spot it in a minute, so I can't drive it in the big race at Danger Pass. Watch this, Lily. Change the face in our father's car, the Melage, so nobody will be able to recognize it. And I want you to drive it in the race. That car's caused so many accidents. Don't ask me to drive it. Get behind the wheel. I'll operate it with the remote control. I don't want anything to do with the car. Lily, have you forgotten that years ago the Melage was wrecked by a car owned by the Three Roses Club? <laughs> he was knocked off the race course by men who cared more for winning than they did for a man's life. How's it even with them all for what they did to our father? No, please, Flash, forget what's happened to our father. I can't. They're going to pay for what they did to our father. Now get behind the wheel of that car, Lily. I won't. Get in, I saw. Oh. Uh. Promise me you'll drive it, Lily. Promise me, and I promise I'll stop the car. Oh, please stop the car. After what those men did to our father, we never saw him again. Please say you'll be in the race. Ah! I will stop the car. You won't be sorry, Lily. Remember, you'll be doing it for our father, and if I'm better, I'll join you in the race. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let us introduce some of the world's famous drivers who will take part in the race at Danger Pass. Racing car number six will be driven by Skid Chill. Car number 77 by Sutton Grimes. Car number 86 by Scootum Rooter. And the fabulous Mach 5 by none other than Speed Racer. Right now, the car owners are giving last-minute instructions to their team. Speed Racer is suspicious of us ever since black and green were wiped out by that mysterious X3 sports car. Don't worry about a thing, Mr. Herring. We know how to take care of that kid. <laughs> oh, that looks like a melange. That's the same supercharged engine. That's a melange. I'd know it anywhere. Oh. It's the same car Flash drove when we knocked him over the cliff years ago. Racing car number three has just joined the starting lineup. It will be driven by Miss Julie. We won't have to worry about the melange because it's only a girl at the wheel. Just do everything you can to win everything. That looks like the description of the melange. And who's that girl at the wheel? She looks sort of familiar. What's the matter, Speed? Haven't you ever seen a girl racer before? Speed! There's something I'm trying to figure out, and I can't. Huh? There's something I'm figuring out, and I've got an idea. Okay, Speed. The Mark V's ready to go. Trying to stow aboard the car again. Hmm? I guess we can't. Hmm? Bridal wanted to ride with you during the race so badly, Speed. Hmm. But so do I. What happened to Dixie? Isn't she going to watch the race? I saw her by the car just a minute ago. Today I'll avenge my father. I'll make them pay. race in years at Danger Pass, and one of the cars may be the rebuilt Melange. And the Three Rose Club has a car entered. Could it all be just a coincidence? When we reach Danger Pass, get rid of the Mach 5! Okay! Lily, keep a tight grip on that steering wheel. 
It won't be long now before I get my revenge. The revenge I've been planning for years. behind that wheel. Speed Racer's on to my plan. This means that before I take care of the other cars, I've got to wipe him out. So, Speed, you're first. Marker's revenge for his father? And what of the mysterious three-rose team? Will this be Speed's oh. last race? <laughs> <laughs> 